Hey guys, RC here. We are back, episode one of our first full season with Volatown FC. Uh, so, just catching you up, we uh, finished the season with uh, Carl Scrona last year, uh, resigned after six seasons as Carl Scrona's head coach, and uh, we took a job with Volatown at the end of the Welsh Premier season. Uh, kept them out of relegation, so we're back in the Welsh Premier League this year. And uh, I'm getting ready for Leeds in about 20 minutes, so I need to knock this episode out. It's been an exciting offseason, I guess. Uh, so let's get into a couple of things. First off, my profile. Uh, keeping teams out of relegation. Do not do jack shit because we haven't picked up any rep. We knew that wasn't going to happen. We need to win some stuff. So that's the goal. We need to start winning shit. Uh, we're over 500, 186 wins, 176 losses. Hey, Adam Forshaw is here with his knee surgery and or knee or hip surgery. Hope he recovers for next season. Uh, if we take a look, uh, the schedule was kind of rough. We scheduled Nottingham Forest and Sheffield Wednesday, uh, some upper league teams from England. Uh, those were money making. I think we pulled in seventy thousand dollars combined from those. And uh, we only won one match against our junior affiliate Lex. Uh, and we just lost to Jan Dudno 3-2 in extra time in the second round, which the board was not happy with uh, because they wanted us to reach the third round. So they're already upset with me. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, so we're going to be playing Colwyn Bay, but this is the first match of the season. So we have a transfer special. I was actually I actually recorded the cup match, and I was switching between uh, watching the uh, Fulham match, uh, the early match in the championship, and I guess when I was switching windows, I turned off the recording right at the end. So I said, "Oh well, nobody needed to see the cup." If we take a look at the transfer history, and then we'll take a look at finances. We sold Massim or we let Massimiliano Massa go on a free to Jan Dudno. He actually had a pretty good game against us there in the cup. Our starting keeper, Jack Watson, goes to Nottingham Forest for four and a half thousand dollars. Um I was a little freaked out when Nottingham came in for him. Uh, but I mean, he's got good ratings. I mean, it was just it was a it was a cost-cutting thing. Uh, that's what it was. So yeah, I was trying to free up some salary. We let a lot of other guys go. Uh, free transfers. Just him. Released players. We got a lot of those. Christian Courtney, Luca Hughes, Andrew John, uh, Christopher White, Neil Evans, Ashley Gornall, Adam Newberry, all out on free, all left on free transfers. Their uh, contracts were up. Some of them are pretty decent players, but they weren't going to be in our top three, two or three in the rotation. So, again, just had to cut cost. Incoming players. Well, Daniel Penrith, his contract was up with Barrytown, uh, so we signed him on a free. Of course, he, we had him on loan last season. He is a star midfielder, and he missed the cup match because he was suspended from the cup final last season, but he will be back today. Uh, let's see. We also bring in Blaze Brown Hill on a free. Uh, he is going to be our starting keeper for the time being because, uh, yeah, our starting keeper that we wanted uh, from last season got hurt, and he's out for a little while, another month, I think. Uh, so he, he looks okay, but... He conceded three goals in in the cup match. Yeah, and uh, and he conceded six in in three starts in friendlies. And he was just he looked horrible because he was out of position. So those are the guys we brought in on freeze uh, for either to start or depth. Uh, Stephen Hignett joins us. Uh, he is he can fill in at central mid and on the wing. He's going to be a relief player. Uh, but he's playing pretty well, well-rounded. I think he can do the job. He's on loan from Connors Key. And then we take a look at Ethan Harding. Harding looks really good. Uh, central mid and attacking right. Uh, he's got three under 21 caps for Northern Ireland. 
he's really good and he's played he started a lot so he'll be a guy to look at uh lloyd noble from colwyn bay uh, he is a left back and center back from uh he's a welsh player six heading at least it's average but again just like we had at carl scrona we cannot find any homegrown players that can head the ball can we uh but anyway he's in and uh, let's see and the last guy ray doyle from sheffield wednesday another midfielder just for depth really well actually no he's not depth he's gonna start he's gonna be our key playmaker he's got decent pace quick acceleration really good work rate uh solid vision and look at that passing uh, I think he is going to be a guy that's going to drive our offense uh, in the attack. So he's going to start alongside, I'm assuming, Penrith. And then we'll have uh, Harding will be our, you know, our first fill-in there off the bench in the mid and on the right side. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, finances. Yeah, I wanted to look at that. So last season when we took over, they were well over $100,000 over the payroll cap. Uh, I have squeezed that down. I'm probably going to release a few more players on free after maybe two or three games after the first month because I want to see who's getting game time, who's having to fill in um, in the rotation, and make sure we have coverage. Uh, but we have we still have quite a few players on non-contracts. Uh, let's see pretty sure yeah, maybe not uh, only two only two uh but uh we're probably going to get rid of at least one of those guys this mike dixon character uh in fact why do i even have him oh uh, well he's on a youth contract yeah can i afford youth contracts that's another question uh, but everybody else is uh, looks like they are on uh, on contracts. Dale Morgan, 16 years old. He's got some potential. That's a pretty hefty youth contract. He's not going to play for us. All right, well, let's get to the matches today. We are on the road against Colwyn Bay. And we are underdogs. So I broke in a new tactic in the preseason. This is uh, so this is the tactic we used last year. Uh, we also were working on this one. I've been having a lot of success with this in my solo save. And then this is a new tactic. Um, it is not listed on the SI site or FM base where they're doing tactic testing. I came across this one on YouTube last night, and the guy that did it, his name is The Reckonist, and he had posted this because he had gotten contacted by one of his subscribers, I guess, and they actually had a screenshot of the email in-game with Arsenal, a 100-match win streak, win streak, not unbeaten streak, win streak. Invincibles eat your heart out, right? So anyway, I thought that was astounding. Thought we would look at it. Um, that is what I played in the friendlies uh, up to the West Ham. The West Ham, I went back to our our four four two, and I also played the four four two in the cup. So we were starting to lag with that a little bit last year. But if we take a look at this. Familiarity-wise, we're just not quite there yet. Marking and stuff, we're just competent. And so I'm like, eh, do I want to go that route? We're actually much better in this tactic. And I don't want Roberts up there, but just, you know, with this, uh, we are pretty, uh, pretty competent in everything. If we look at that one with the three back, and I was actually signing players for this, but you can see, uh, actually, marking we're accomplished. You know what? Maybe we do go with that one. The width we're competent. What is the deal with width? Attacking width is wide. 
Yeah, because we've got four. We've got four wingers here. Um, I can see that. I think I'm going to go with this one, guys, just because the marking is really high. So we're better at that. Position, role, duty. Those are all. You know, we 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 suffer a lot at that. All right, so. Bird's going to be up top. He is our best finisher by far with 15. First touch is a 10, so he's at least decent. Uh, Lee Jones on the bench. Uh, let's see. Doyle and Penrith. I'm looking forward to that partnership developing this year. Penrith does get back in. Nah, we'll go with that. Uh, so we're going to have Bamford on the left, Tipton on the right. Tipton had a big season last year. Uh, I may want to reverse these guys. Inside forward. See, he is a right only. And Bamford is a right only. So maybe I want him as an inside forward and him I want as a winger. Let's do that. We'll put him on support. We'll leave Wood on attack. So they'll fill all of this side. Uh, let's see. We've got this set up. Uh, Gareth Jones, Wood on the wingbacks. Palfreyman, Bennett, and Jamo in the center. Woods, Hignett, Roberts, Locke, Buckland on the bench. Harbottle still injured. He'll be out for another four weeks. Ethan Harding got injured in the cup match. Uh, he's going to be out for about a week and a half. And you can see uh, Declan McDonald would normally start. The cup was just a few days ago. He would normally be in this center back rotation. And Thomas would usually be my striker off the bench. Uh, or going with a two striker set, he would be my number two guy, which is one reason I kind of like that tactic. But let's give this one a go. Let's give this one a go. Let me just repick here, make sure I didn't screw nothing up. And let's get to it. So we are uh, yeah, 12 minutes in with the transfer news and just kind of off season review. Uh, hopefully, with the finances down, the, you know, the, um, you know, we can be start gaining a little profitability, maybe. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see. All right, I do have this on a cautious set. Let's get creative. Did he take a knock or something? I must have missed that because I don't think he would have. He wouldn't have been put in. Oh, what a save. That was a nice save by Brown Hill. Happy with that result. All right. Our keeper came out to make a play on that one and did not look good. All right. Bamford. Stutter steps. Lays it back to Jamo. Makes a deep pass to Tipton. Doyle, oh, skims off the crossbar for a goal kick. All right, these guys, wow. I'm not exactly sure why they're so knackered. Unless they're just, unless it's a fitness thing. Because that's odd. They shouldn't have. I've got it set. If you're below 90%, you won't get put in the starting lineup. So, all right. Uh, morale boost. Sure. Selected player. Avoid a booking. You know what? Let's go ahead and pull him. Ollie Woods. Yeah. I'm going to bring Ollie Woods on for Jamo. And who was the other guy? Ray Doyle, and he's on a yellow. Locke, Buckland. You really can't mark. Wow. Oh, oh no, no, no. Hignett. Hignett. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the ticket. Now, I think Penrith has better 
passing. So we're going to move him over to that side. All right, let's give him another get creative here in the early going. Uh, penalty, shit. Uh, Brown Hill's got no shot of stopping a penalty, I don't think. Oh, my God. Well, I guess if it's kicked right to him, here, we'll give you a chance. <laughs> All right, plays it out. There's a ball up. All right, Penrus. Good to see him back on the field. That wasn't good. Come on, boys. It seems that the... Uh, that other tactic with the, with the 100 men... Whoa. I don't know where that went. I thought I thought that was in the net to be honest. All right, Penrus. Hignett. Penrus picks out the pass, Tipton, and he Oh, come on. We had a goal that was called offsides and there was no way in hell. Show me a replay, please. Yeah, okay, he was. All right. Chuck, that was... Come on, guys. You got to do better than that. Demand more. All right, Woods to Wood. That, oh, he's got his pocket picked. Come on, fellas. All right, good defense. Nobody's up there, though. Bennett, Woods. Oh, my God, a missed header. And Griffith should have put that one away for Colwyn Bay. All right, let's make another sub here. Bennett is dragging. Um, you know what? I don't have... Let's pause. Let's go into tactics. All right. So Bennett's tired. So if we go... Kai Wood. He can play right. Woods and Palfreyman in center. All right. Now he's not a defensive left. Do I have a defensive left in here? I do. Bamford. So we'll drop him back here. That's better. All right. Hignett is a central mid. Tipton, Bird. Bird's going to be my primary striker. All right. And then Bennett is the guy that I wanted to sub off anyway. So we are going to bring on Lee Jones. There we go, and we are going to confirm and unpause it. So we're going to switch tactics out completely. All right, show some passion. Oh, is this going to be okay? I thought that was, woo, that was a rocket. Left peg laser. Demand more. All right, Bamford from the corner. Placed in. Bird! Yeah. Yes, it does it count? Yes, it does. First goal of the season. Phil Bird picks up our first league goal of the year and puts us up 1-0. Uh, let's see. I want to go... I want to compress here a little bit. And let's do a little time-wasting. And tighten up. Oh, they're frustrated. Oh, no, no. Five minutes of stoppage time. Oh, Pelfreyman heads it wide into the corner. 
Knocked out. Come on, defense. Blocked. What a block. Yes. A victory over Colwyn Bay. All right. Excellent effort. That gets everybody happy. Happy days, happy days. All right, we are uh, 21 minutes in, and oh my God, we're in the top three. Look out. A couple of teams not finished yet, but that is okay. Cajun tackles Ballatown debt. Offload members of the playing staff. Sold. Positive reaction to his tactical approach. Plenty of optimism for the future. All right. Well, we come back in three days for our next match. <coughs> I tell you what, let's come back. Um, we'll come back pretty quickly. Let's uh, check out New Saints and Cardiff Met Uni, who won their first league match. Looks like New Saints have not played yet. And uh, that should give us top of the table and a mid-table projection fifth so you know that should give us a pretty good idea how we're going to fare against top of the table teams uh and gives us two more games and what i'm going to try to do is uh still try to work with these tactics i'm going to mix them around play a couple of them still want to uh, still want to mess around you know see about those keepers which one i want to allow to start because <laughs> Oh man, we need uh we need old Patty Boy back real soon. Well, guys, first game, uh, first video of the new season. Please pound that like button like it owes you money. Uh, hit the uh, subscribe button and the little bell for daily. You know, make sure you get your notifications for the daily uploads. Uh, as always, I appreciate your support. Appreciate you here checking things out. Let me know what you think of the moves in the off season, and. Uh, are we going to be able to beat this ninth, ninth place finish? Let me know. We'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.